Hey, hey guys, Brian Parnell here. I am just putting together some um, preliminary keywords and things to um, basically go and find Tumblr blogs that already have age and power to them and in a niche that I'm in, right? So I thought I would just show you what, what one, what I've done so far, why I'm doing it, and then show you the tool that will go off and find all of these awesome Tumblr blogs that've got power and all that kind of stuff that we can then use to power up our money sites and our videos and our clients or whatever it is that you that you do from an internet marketing perspective. So, um, so I've put pets, dogs, kennels, groomer into this tool. So this tool here is a different tool. It's not the Tumblr Viper. It is Keyword Researcher Pro. Okay, I use this nearly on a daily basis. And what it does is it goes off to Google and it finds all the suggests for these related keywords. All right, so as you can see down here, it's found 32,000 keywords. Okay, so I'm gonna copy them to clipboard. And then next, the next tool that I will use is I will use Domain Hunter Gatherer. Okay, so Domain Hunter Gatherer, Web 2.0 Hunter, what it's gonna do is it's gonna go off and find tumblers that have been alive, but no longer are alive. So we can then go off and create those accounts, okay? So many moons ago, um, I used to use Scrapebox. Um, Scrapebox is still really good to use, but Domain Hunter Gatherer, you know, has this, it's just a little bit easier to use. So, um, you know, that's my, that's why I'm using it. So uh, we've got Tumblr in here, just tick that, okay? And I'm just gonna get it to search Google, Yahoo, and Bing. I've already got proxies in there. Um, so, you know, we're good to go. Now, hopefully, I can just click on search with list from key clipboard. So I'm gonna click on this, okay? Oh, it's gonna go and it's already done it. Excellent, so it's just gonna go off and it's gonna start finding these tumblers. Okay, so why are we doing this? Now, I don't, uh, many moons ago, um, a very good friend of mine and I were having a conversation um, and I talked about this method and obviously you can find it's Tumblr's, Twitter, bloggers, you, even YouTube channels you can find that, are, that have been deleted and that have got age and also backlinks and domain authority and all that kind of stuff. So it's, you know, so it's a powerful, nice quite easy little strategy okay the problem that arose is that you've got to then go in and manually create these accounts okay so I taught this method to my friend whom um, at the time was working with a developer and things and I said to them can you create a tool for me that will go and now create these accounts so I haven't got to go in and, you know, manually create these accounts because it takes ages and it's a ball ache and yada, 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 right? So long story short, the tool has been created um, by my pal. So once this, I'll, I'll quickly show it to you, okay? I've literally just got access to it. So I'm just going to show you the basics, right? Um, very, very basically is once you've got your list of all the usernames within Tumblr that have been alive before and are now able to re-register, you click on open, you put all the usernames in there, put all your email addresses in there, you can go and buy .ru emails for like, I don't know, you can get a thousand for like 10 bucks. So, you know, it's very, very affordable. The other thing you'll need is you, you will need proxies don't have to use proxies but obviously you know if you're going to go and create as many as I plan to create after you know it's create tumblers the tumblr bots created 5 10 in your uh, with your home IP address tumblr isn't going to let you create anymore okay so you will need um, IP addresses I would recommend US 
IP addresses, okay, they seem to work best. So literally, you don't need to know anything else. There's lots more in here that you can do. You can post and all that kind of stuff. You can check whether they're alive, whether Tumblr has disabled them further down the line, because that does happen. You know, let's be let's be perfectly honest. We all know that. Um, but you know, from for all intents and purposes. You whack the usernames in there, your email address is in there, click on run and it goes off and it opens all these bloody accounts for you, which is friggin' awesome. Okay, absolutely awesome. Um, I can't tell you how how much more ranking I'm going to do because this is going to save time. Okay, um, I am I haven't been doing this method as much as I did in the past, purely because of the time that it took me to go in or took my and my staff and they'd mess it up and oh yeah it was just a ball ache right so um i yeah it's just it's just really really good so i'm going to pull this out of the way a minute just see what is going on here so this is domain hunter gatherer okay this is another tool you can do it with scrapebox as well i've got some videos on how to do to do it with scrapebox so if you would like to know how to do it with Scrapebox, because I've got those videos hidden, let me know and I will forward you the playlist so you because they're they're only for my members. But if you watch this, then just email me at Brian at Brianparnell.com and I will um I'll and I will send you those videos by all means. Let me um just open up, up a quick notepad so I'll write type my email address in here so you can see it so it's brian at brianparnell.com let's make that bigger because everybody always moans when you put something in and it tell you what let's just do it this way that's better there you go. Okay, so that's that's my business email address or one of them. So, you know, by all means, email me there and I will get you that video series. Okay. So now you're going to be saying, well, well, well what, what do you do with them? What do you do with them? Right. So there's a few things we can do here. Um, the first, first and foremost is my same friend has a redirecting tool okay and what the redirecting tool does is it will redirect so when somebody lands somebody goes to the tumblr okay it will redirect to the page that you want to redirect them to so what i like to do with this is from a local perspective i like to redirect them to something that is obviously relevant to what was ranking okay so you can use this tool in tumblr um Blogger, Google Sites, you know, all that kind of stuff. I think you have to use the old Google Sites. I don't think it works on the new Google Sites, but I haven't tested it for a while, so it might now work on the new Google Sites. Um, and it's not that the tool doesn't work, it's the script. So you get given a, two different scripts, and it will then go off and redirect straight to those, um, straight to those, sorry, my wife walked in and totally threw me off my... Uh, off my stroke so um, yeah so you will so this will from a local perspective you can redirect them to a video to a special offer uh, even to their website okay um, and then what you can or even to their GMB you know whatever you want to whatever they're promoting you can you know you can do this with then with the redirect tool if you're in the affiliate arena you can redirect them to your Amazon affiliate page or to a you know, to a page on your own website that's reviewing products. So it get, you get traffic to that, pay, to that page. Instead of just spamming Amazon, you're sending traffic to your own website that talks about a product and, you know, the traffic and clicks and all that kind of stuff. If you've got Google Analytics and all that kind of stuff on your website, it'll help with rankings. If you haven't got Google Analytics and um, Search Console stuff on there, then don't worry about it. It will still help a little bit because Google does seem to be a little bit naughty and see things that they shouldn't be seeing um, but for all intents and purposes we're just trying to drive traffic and yeah it's just a great way to drive traffic for affiliate okay <clears throat> and 
Another thing you can also do to increase your YouTube video views is to redirect to a YouTube video, okay? And you've just got to make sure that it's congruent and it all makes sense, right? So you redirect to a relevant page, right? I'm hoping this, you know, you know, you this really makes sense. So I just want to show you this this redirect tool too. I'm just going to drag it over. I don't want to make it. I want to bring it so we can see it. Okay. So I'm going to add a new one here, right? I'm going to call it um, SEO Web Geek. And then when it, I want, this is the URL I want it to redirect to, okay? So it's created. Now all I need to do is click on show code, okay? So I'll show you, so you've got two different scripts, okay? So you put this script on, let's say it's a Tumblr, okay? Um, or you put the script on a blogger, something like that. So once we've created our redirect, what we can do, so you come into here and show code and you just the code, click on edit. We can add a filter, okay? And the filter, what that means is that it will redirect only if this filter hits. So let's say I only wanted, you were, um, I wanted US, um, USA traffic to go to a particular page on my website or a completely different page, right? You can put that into here, okay? You can even go by regions, okay? So you go by the states. Think of this from a, a um, from a local perspective. You know, if your client's in, um, I don't know, Alabama, then you know you can go and choose Alabama. But let's say that the Tumblr or whatever it is that you've got this redirect code on, PBN, that kind of stuff, let's say that it is um, also ranking in Florida. Well, you can go and now go and get a, get a client in Florida and send the traffic to them as well. All right, so you get no wasted traffic and you end up, you know, you can do a lot with this. From an affiliate perspective, You've got, um, you know, you can send people to different Amazon. So you can go to .co.uk, right? So, um, so yeah, so I can send them to the associates, you know, associate products for .uk. Then, um, you know, you can send them to US with another one of these redirects. So depending on where they are, it picks it up and it sends them. All right. Um, so local and affiliate, it's, it's absolutely covered and it works really, really well. So let's... Um, Let's go and show show you how one of these works. Okay, so I can come over to Tumblr. Let's, you've got to go up to here, go to HTML. Um, let's put that in there. I like to just click on preview just to make sure this little box comes up, which it does. So I'm going to put Brian Parnell, the SEO geek. I'm only putting this in just, you know, this is just for grins, right? SEO web geek the SEO geek. So we've got the got those little things. Come back to here. Just you know, click on click on post now. Boom. Right. So now that's that's posted. So what we want to do now is I want to find the permalink for this post. Um, I think that's this one. So if I copy that, copy link location. Let's uh, open up a private window. I don't know if it's a working private actually, because private's got advertising and blockers and all you know, all kinds of stuff. So click on accept. Boom. There you go. Right. It went. It's gone over to my website. So, if you think about that, you know, finding and uh, finding creating those aged finding those aged blogs like i said started about right at the beginning 
and then you do, you put to, you get them ranking for whatever you know whatever the keywords are, and then you go and do you do the redirect and you send them to wherever you want to be sending them to, you will end up getting traffic, and clients will get phone calls, you will get sales. But just make sure that you're congruent. Okay, don't go and you know set up a load of blogs about I don't know a fucking florist, and then you're sending them to. An Am- a Star Wars offer on Amazon because that ain't going to convert, right? Um, so just be very mindful of that. Quick idea, I've just mentioned florists, okay? There will be thousands of bloggers and tumblers and whatever else out there on the internet that Web 2.0s that have expired to do with florists because it's one of the biggest failing businesses that people get into that fail in the world right so there's going to be loads of them so you pick them up and then what do you do you send them to all the affiliate offers for florists okay there'll be loads of them i know there are loads of them because i a couple few mother's day in a row 10 years ago or so i made quite a bit of money just for mother's day selling flowers through doing all that okay so there's a Nice little tip for you to go out and just start making bank right away. Okay, I can I can do a lot more for you, um, like trainings and stuff like that. So if you like this kind of thing, um, let me know. I can, you know, I might even get Michael on and we'll do a live uh, do a live webinar or something together. All right. Okay. All the best. Cheers for now. Bye bye.